So coming up to the van from the inside, got a vent there for the refrigerator. This cu uh, cupboard here is probably the nicest cupboard in the van. It's huge. You can fit just about everything you need for cooking in there. And then I love the forward facing isotherm fridge. Um, so you can be in the fridge without blocking the entire van. You can also load the fridge from the outside. It's got a full induction uh, embedded cooktop. It's completely perfectly embedded in this countertop. This countertop is bulletproof. You can sand it if you'd like to. You can bleach it, clean it. There's absolutely no stains on it. Stainless steel counter, um, stainless steel sink, stainless uh, marine faucet. This actually folds down into the sink if you want. And then above the galley, you've got this uh, really great cupboard. You can put all your um, kitchen stuff in there. And then in the galley cabinet, you've got your controls. This uh, tells you how much water you have in the tank. Then you've got your um, battery bank. And then you've got your inverter. You turn this on, then you can start to power your induction cooktop or your plugs or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and then this little button there actually turns on a heating element for the uh, water tank in the back of the van, just in case the temperature were to drop. And then underneath the sink, you've got a great cupboard here. It slides out. We usually use it for toiletries. You can use it for whatever you'd like, though. It's a great drawer. Drawers are a king when it comes to vans. You've got a, a emptying valve underneath there. So you can empty the water from within the van, which is great. It's got about a four gallon tank and the tank you can see is just sitting there underneath that drawer. Coming to the back of the van, you've got two uh, bunk windows above the bed. This is about a full size bed. Um, those windows are great to have on both sides because you can kind of see what's going on at night when you're sleeping. If you hear something outside the van, you've got L-Track um, reading lights. Those Both those reading lights have USB chargers in them. And then up above the bed in a convenient location so you don't have to get up when you're sleeping, you've got the control for the diesel heater and three lights here. This is the upper rear, upper forward, and underneath for the garage lights. All of those are on dimmers. This van has two max air fans, which is really nice in a 144. So one can take air in, one can pull air out. Um, these have built in rain sensors and a remote control. And then these nice um, insulated uh, covers just magnetically clip on there. Same thing with the bunk windows. You've got these nice magnetic covers. These are super insulated. Um, when they're not on, Cold air gets in when they're on, cold air stays out, and the heat stays out too. There's also this convenient um, clean out so you can access the water tank from here. This bed has two steel panels. Um, you can very easily take a panel, I'm doing all this with one hand. You can very easily take a panel, fold it, and then you can see you've got room to uh, then lift up these chairs. So these are Mercedes Metro seats. Um, they come out of the van in about two to three minutes. I left the headrest at home. Um, got these nice uh, bunker bags in there. Got a nice soft storage cup holder here, a plug, more L-Track in the garage. This is your awning control. It's got garage lights in here. These things like to flicker in the camera, but nice garage lights that you can turn on and off that are on dimmers. And then this awesome storage in here. It fits tons of chairs and whatever you want to put, uh, lots of storage. And then over here in the closet, this closet's great. It's um, the perfect width to hang shirts put a suitcase it's got removable shelves that go on the tabs you see a little uh, hanger hook up above there a wheel well cover cover this bench is probably my favorite part of the van i absolutely love this layout if you don't need passenger seating in the front of the van this is the best thing to have this hole underneath of the bench is storage you can just lift up here 
and you've got a ton of storage in there and it's very heavy so it doesn't rattle at all you've got a plug there for convenience when you want to maybe work on this table here you've got another soft storage cup holder usb chargers there um, alpine mechanism swivels on both of these seats so this is a pretty easy operation you just so there you can spin the seat you can spin this table to have easy access to it if you'd like and this is a great spot for two or three people to sit and have uh, dinner the driver's seat will swivel about 75 percent of the way around but not all the way because of uh, the bench location the diesel heater is underneath the passenger seat puts out a ton of heat we have camped in this van in the middle of winter many 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 times really convenient light controls there right as you enter the van so you can reach from outside you've got upper lights you've got the outside floodlight and the retractable running board switch so you can have it set to down permanently or up permanently if you'd like in the front we've replaced the uh, head unit with a custom alpine unit um, this does wireless uh, apple play so you don't have to plug in your phone it picks it up wirelessly uh, we replaced all the speakers with Pioneer um, aftermarket speakers. Everything is in essentially perfect condition in the front of this van. The seats are very clean. There's no stains. The floor is a gray coin flooring. Um, I love this floor. It's completely bulletproof. It's impossible to stain it, scratch it. Or anything of the like. Headliner shelf fits all the window shades. That table fits up there as well. Um, so very convenient. And there's a light. You can see the light switch underneath there too. That controls the uh, overhead lights up there. You can see the uh, second Max Air fan there underneath that window cover. These are um, L-Track studs. And there's two in the back behind me as well. You can actually hang a hammock from there if you'd like to. Uh, but it's great for putting a hook on and hanging clothes out to dry or whatever it is you need to do. They also serve as uh, structural to hold the roof panels in place. Over here on the driver's side, you've got a nice little relay switch. Basically, if the starter battery in this van were to ever die, you can press that in and hold it. And it will start the van from the house batteries which is super convenient. Put some aftermarket switches here. Um, one of these will turn on the overhead lights inside the van, so when you park at night, you can quickly hit that button, turn on the lights in the back of the van so you can see when you get up. And this button right here will turn on the um, outside floodlight in the back of the van. So if you're reversing and you're trying to see behind you, you can click that and uh, turn on the lights. All right, coming around the back of the van, you've got bags here on the rear doors. Those are really nice, huge Touareg bags. They hold everything you need, like your hose nozzles or your hose for the um, spigot. It's got a rear shower here. That's your water fill tank. So you fill that from the back. You can get a good look at those bunker bags there which are really convenient for holding things for the people sitting there or when the chairs are not in for holding stuff. That's the water tank, it's about 25 gallons. Really super clean plumbing job and electric, all nicely tucked away. Everything's labeled. If a fuse were to burn out or something, you can replace it easily. These things just snap in place. Um, in this compartment is all of the battery battery bank, battery items. You've got a plug right there. You can plug in a vacuum, whatever you need to plug in to get to outside, air compressor. L-Track on the flooring and, and along the back so you can mount bikes in the back. The height of this bed is perfect for bikes. It's about two inches taller than normal. These doors do swing all the way out to the side of the van, which is very convenient. 
aftermarket reverse camera up at the top. You got a floodlight here. That floodlight is controlled by one of those black buttons right there. The other black button controls the inside garage lights. 